the name? Absolutely marvellous. Young, old? I think there might be a young person trying to be old. And what a jolly good day for cricket it is, too. Gold dust. Gold, gold, gold dust. Gold dust. <laughs> I'm sure you can spot the time of top cricketer. The best in the village. See, I'm seeing the numbers at the back. 60 could be his age. Total of 60. Crikey, I don't want to sound all pompous, but my scores aren't just about cricket. It sounds very posh, but it might be someone putting on it a posh accent. On the contrary, after some ins and outs... Bo Tuffers, Mo Wiggo. They're all sports people. I became a rather big hitter. <laughs> it's fantastic to be invited to play for you all this evening. I'm going to make it a jolly good news up. Exciting, I'd watch it. <laughs> Mo, what are you thinking, my friend? Oh, that was so good. Did you see the little squirrel having the time of its life? I oh. couldn't tell whether the squirrel was an umpire <laughs> or whether he worked on the meat counter at Morrison's. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure. There was something that Davina picked up on. I can hear a little accent in there. Sounds like a little Caribbean twang going in there. I can hear it. So um, I'm going to throw a name out there. They're very musical and has that twang. They're from the Caribbean. I'm thinking it could be Levi Roots. Davina, what are you thinking? You're doing all of this holding your back and walking on slowly. Are you pretending to be a certain age? You're fooling us, I don't know. Oh, they think so. They think so. We saw gold dust, and I was thinking that it's that stuff you don't want to throw away that's too valuable to let go of. And what was cricket standing on? Blades of grass, everybody. Oh. Yes. I think you are Jay Blades. Charlie, what are you thinking? I do know, Cricketer. I thought that the numbers on the back were six foot five, maybe. Mm. And, and I'm six four, and he's about an inch taller than me. I'm just, I'm going to go with Stuart Broad. Stuart Broad, good shout. A titter of applause there in the audience. See how hard this I'm is, so Charlie. Hard. I know. You see how hard I know. this is? 
Jonathan, what are you thinking? You came across very much from all the VT packages as a kind of an old school gentleman or someone who yeah. knows how to behave. I was thinking also a sporting figure, and I noticed on the scoreboard it said total 60. So I'm thinking, yeah. is that the person's age? Yes. I'm thinking maybe it is cricket. I'm thinking of a real gentleman on and off the pitch. He's about 60 years old. He was England captain. I think it might be David Gower in there. Do you want another clue? Yes, yes. yes. Oh, my okay. God, desperate. Let's get you another clue with the game of Riddle Me This. Find the answer, find the clue. Cricket, let's hear your riddle, please. I hope my performance was bowling you over like when I got dizzy while perched on a sofa. Remember who had a hit with their version of the song Dizzy was Vic Reeves. It could be Vic Reeves in there, maybe. Vic Reeves is a good show. Well, you'll only see who's inside cricket when they're out. <laughs> Let's hear it for cricket, everybody. Yeah. 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 Have the panel knocked it out of the park with their guesses? Who do you think is behind the mask? Vic Reeves. I think my riddle left the panel oh so dizzy. I am greasing up. Put your hands on. Put your hands on. After last week's performance, I'm feeling completely bowled over. Could be Levi Roots. Jay Blades. Could be Vic Weaves in there, maybe. The entire panel are all out. <laughs> I may be coming across all airs and graces, but one could say I have a bit of a reputation. Ah, this is someone that's quite known. Now, I always had potential. Different from the team pursuit. Prescription TDF. Tour de France. Bradley Wiggins. I don't want to take you on a ride, but competing, you know. It allowed my talent to grow. The competition has been rather thrilling, hasn't it? Let's hope tonight's performance isn't a duck. A duck. That's a cricket reference. Good 
cricket, yes! Uh, Mo, how good was that, that, my friend? That was so, so good. Oh, my God, that was so good. I was looking at some of the clues and I seen competing. And a show that people go in and they, they compete, but they compete in a different way to try and get funding. And uh, this person was on Dragon's Den and they can sing. I'm going to go back to a previous guest I had. It could be Levi Roots. It could be Levi Roots. That was the name. But last minute, I have a new entry. And again, it was someone that not so much competes, but they kind of make sure that we're in a good vibe. They motivate us. And I think possibly it could be Mr. Motivator in there. Wow. Oh, that's a good thing. Davina. So competing, I thought about the X Factor and JLS were on the X Factor. Um, I think it's somebody who, before he got into JLS, he was in oh, Holby no. City for a few years because there was a doctor's coat. And he was an X Factor finalist against Alexandra Burke. But, you know, they said, you Knowles, instead of, you know. Okay. Knowles felt like a really big clue in there. Mm. And Alexandra Burke sang with Beyonce yes, in that was. final with JLS in it. So Probably I came up with Marvin Hughes. Oh. Holly! The first thing I saw was TDF, and then I thought <laughs> Tour de France, you see. Uh, then I'm thinking oh. this could be a cyclist. But then you, you sang. Heard. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you sang cricket, you sang at my best friend's wedding. <gasps> what? Yeah. What? That's Lamar. <laughs> Jonathan. Well, I'm glad you came to me last because early I was saying David Gowney and both of them, but then when I heard you sing, I remembered that a friend of mine heard someone like you sing at their best friend's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remembered it's Lamar, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> it came back to me. You want another clue? Yes. Let's play truth or custard pies. Cricket, can we have clue number one, please? The one circus show I'd improve is fire breathing. Fire breather. Clue number two, please. I was last seen at the big top with my friend Big Mouse. Big, big Mouse. Mouse. Audience, give me a cheer if you think clue number one is true. <laughs> give me a cheer if you think clue number two is true. Big mouth. Do you recognise the voice? One hundred eyes. No, the oh speaking my... voice. Absolutely. Who? What was that uh, wedding we were at? Who was it again? <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. That's right. It was Jake's it wedding. He came either. up and he said, yeah. "I love a big mouse." Yeah, I remember it now. Big top. Yeah. It might not be. Why do you think it might not be? This is the masked singer. We think we know something, and then we That's know very, nothing. Very, very. There's a lot of tricks going on here. OK, interesting. I very much enjoyed that. OK, we'll only grass up this hopper when the mask comes off. Give it up for Cricket, everyone! Yeah. Hello, Cricket. And I've done it for my friends. Is there a 50-50 chance that the panel got it right? Or do they need further motivation? Who do you think's behind the mask? Ollie thinks he's cracked this cricket right off the bat. But has he caught me out? This is the rhythm of the night. The night. Last week was super fun. The panel played a jolly good game with their guesses. Could be Mr. Motivator. Marvin Humes. That's Lamar. But they are no masterminds. The Cricket, take one. Hello there. Marvellous. That's it a fake voice, like isn't it? Very yeah. fake. Yes. One has had a few marks on the board. A jolly good innings. Innings is just you've been around for a long while. <laughs> Oops. Smash hits. Smash hits, it yes. Was, I was in a league of my own. It was my calling. Webb. Simon Webb. Ah, uh, and it was third. I went from playing the village green to playing arenas and winning awards. You must be going around in circles, guessing. It's rather fun confusing you, I must confess. Love from MB. Michael Bublé? Mary Berry. 
own tonight a marvelous opportunity to have a jolly good bash. Hello, cricket. to be, I think, one of the best voices we've yeah. had on The Masked Singer. Yeah. I think, again, from somebody I've loved growing up, and I just still do love him, actually, it's... You want to say it with me? Or do you want to say it? You say it. No, you say, you say it because you we're oh. here. I really want you to say it together and one of you says a different name. That's what I really... <laughs> so, three, two, one. Lamar. Lamar. Whoa! Uh, Jonathan. Last time, Olly Murr's guessed that it might be Lamar. I think it's one of those ones where if three professional singers have come on and said Lamar, then I would be crazy to say it's anyone else than Mary <laughs> Berry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that is Lamar. What? I don't think it's... Because I've seen some clues here. I said countryside, so I thought maybe this is someone that moved to a different country and then there was playing huge arenas. The only other person that I think has a very soulful, seductive voice like that. I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think it could be Seal. Wow, oh. that's a great guess! A great guess. Hey, Davida, who do you think it is? What I think is really clever about you, Cricket, is that the first time you sang, you absolutely fooled us. I wrote down, not a singer. <gasps> wow. But tonight, it was oh, incredible, so thank you. Imagine doing that. That'd be like me coming out and not being funny, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I know S Webb feels like it's too obvious a clue, but Ooh. I think Simon could sound like that. How does the soul choice help with deciding of who this is? My, uh, so, it doesn't help me at all with Simon Webb. <laughs> OK, who's that? <laughs> well, let me find out when the mask comes off. Let's hear it for cricket, everyone. Have the panel sealed the deal? Or are they caught in a Simon Webb? Who do you think's behind the mask? The marvellous try, ladies. But if there's any justice in the world, I won't be revealing who I am tonight. How deep is your love? Last week, jolly good. Lamar. Lamar. I think it could be Seal. S Webb feels like it's too obvious, but I think Simon could sound like that. The panel's comments. Wow. One of the best voices we've had on the Mars Singer. Ah! All right. Oh. Okay, well, 
that's a blue tube. Oh, 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 oh. What's a competition? Everyone is being such jolly good sports. Sports? Maybe he is in sport. Hats, Academy. What a great lineup of talent. Very competitive. The way I like it. Don't go cricket green with envy, but I've had success in my field. This is a successful singer. I made a splash, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm really growing in this competition. You say best before 2002. Isn't that when Fame Academy came out? Time to hit the stage. Let me clear my throat. This is great, this show. It is literally <laughs> the bizarrest thing. I loved watching you perform. You've got a great voice. There were some interesting clues. It was all rise. Yeah. Yes. Uh, there was some blue juice. Yeah. Yes. You hit the ball out of space, and this person I'm thinking about made a film in space. There was a field mentioned, and this guy made a film called A League of Their Own. And um, so it's not a fact that this guy did backing vocals for Blue. Oh. I'm wondering if it's Tom Hanks. What? <laughs> No, but come on. You took us on such a journey, Lenny. <laughs> Mo, what do you think of my friend? So this name, when I seen some of the clues, I was thinking made a splash, like a splash into the industry. Mm. You know what I mean? They made waves. Yeah. So this person, I'm thinking it could be successful scene. It could be Teo Cruz. <gasps> yeah, I think that's a good guess. Very good guess. Rita. So, yes, I see the Academy on the box, and I'm like, Fame Academy. And then I saw Time to Grow, which is the name of... Lamar's double platinum oh. album. So I am pretty sure that is Lamar. Yeah. Okay. I love that. You know what? It does sound a bit like Lamar, but the clues have pointed me towards someone else, which Ew. is there were roses on the table at the beginning. Uh, there was a line about I made a splash. What animal makes a splash? Dolphin. Uh, uh, dolphin, yes. Whale. Fish, yes. Keep going. Turtle. Yes. A seal. Keep going. Penguin. A seal. seal. A seal makes a splash. Oh my oh. God. I hit with kiss from a rose. I think it's seal. Could be. Davida, who yes. do you think it is? So, Cricket's wearing a hat. Yes. This is somebody who is very well known for wearing a hat. There is a song, you know, it said there was an energy drink, and this guy had a song called Liquid Spirit. 
and he's from Sacramento, and there is a Sacramento cricket. I think it's Gregory Porter. You think it's Gregory Porter? Yes. Davina, this yes. is the worrying thing. Even Tom Hanks got more of a reaction. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Do you want another clue? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. OK, oh, time for another go. game of See It, Say It. Light up three pictures to reveal your clue. Oh, yeah. Davina, you're up. Get your crank on, baby. <laughs> oh. oh, Mobo. 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 Who's won a Mobo? Still must have won. I'm one of Mobo. Mobo. Rita Ora's won a Mobo, everyone. It's Rita! <laughs> OK, whose lovely mug is behind the bark? We'll only know when the mask comes off. It's Cricket, everyone! <laughs> Have the panel hit a six with these guesses? Or do they need to do better? Who do you think's behind the mask? The panel think they've cracked who's in this cricket. But they'll only find out when I get my Le Marching orders. That is Lamar. Teo Cruz. Gregory Porter. I think it's Seal. Making jolly good runs and still not out. Oh. Yeah. Jolly good. I've not been ushered here. It's been my destiny since I was a child. Destiny, Destiny's child. But it's not been an easy cruise. It could break your heart, but there is justice with everyone banding together. Justice. Hey, Cricket, just called to say you made that win look easy. Made that win look easy. Someone who's won. I've had success. I've hit the stumps seven times before. Seven number one, seven top ten. This is a big time singer. <laughs> So I'm not looking to be runner-up. I'm ready for the semi-final. Red wig. What's that about? I'm confused by the red wig. It's time to bowl out the competition. show trying to just tear me into 100 pieces. Uh. That was amazing. Who do you think it is, Rita? I have always said it, said it from the get-go as soon as I heard you. It's Lamar. Yeah. Joe and Lamar. Yeah. Davina. Oh, my gosh. 
I just forgot that I was trying to guess who was behind the mask. I got so into yeah. it, and that was an incredible interpretation. Yeah. Um, so, talking about justice, and there's been loads of references to all rise, justice, when a judge walks in, everybody has to rise. I keep thinking about blue. Simon Webb is the name. In that tone. OK, I'm going to come to you, Mo. So, when I'm looking at the clues, there's the red wig. And on Fame Academy, one of the judges, she has red hair. Yeah. Yes. Carrie. Carrie. Yeah. Carrie has red hair. Uh, you said some of the clues, justice. If there's any justice, then it could be Lamar in there. Could be Lamar. <laughs> Lorraine! Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful voice. One of the clues was banding together. Yeah, everybody wants to work with this person because they are just so fantastic and possibly one of the most beautiful and loveliest person in the world. Number seven, well, they had a hit with Seven Days, so I think it's Craig David. Wow! Oh, good guess. Jonathan! Here's my guess. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> there was a clue there. You mentioned the word cruise. Get ready, and guys. you said seven times. Well, seven times <laughs> no, this person <laughs> has accepted a mission that was considered <laughs> impossible. Don't even let him finish this, guys. <laughs> it's Tom Cruise. It's Tom Cruise. <laughs> So silly. Will they be into the last four? We'll only know when the mask comes off. It's crickets. <laughs> Is Jonathan cruising for a bruising? Has Davina unravelled cricket's web? Who do you think's behind the mask? The panel are convinced this cricket found fame on Fame Academy. But are they wide of the mark? Hoping to cross the boundary into the grand final. It's crickets. <laughs> You ready for one last helping yes. of truth juice? Yes! Here we go. Pick this up. Here we go. Ready to sip? Sip, 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 sip. <laughs> Cricket is thirsty. <laughs> OK, what's your clue? <laughs> no! No! Oh, I'm a Brit Award winner. Go! 
Oh, I'm a Brit Award winner. Summer Web Blue. Blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Lamar. I mean, that does not yeah. narrow it down. Craig David must have won. He's a definitely He's won got a Brit. tons of it. But it doesn't really make any sense because Tom Cruise hasn't won any Brits. <laughs> Tom Cruise hasn't got any Brits at all. Hey, not be him, then. OK. Will you be hit for six when you see who it is? We'll only know when the mask comes off. Give it up for Cricket, everyone. <laughs> Love Cricket. The Goblet of Truth got me to reveal a Brit too much. Has it helped you work out who I am? I'm still in bat. It's Tom Cruise. It could be Lamar. Simon Webb, it's Lamar. The panel have made their pitch. Let's hope they won't catch me out. I said, hit. But now it's the finals. Grant and Phil. Phil and Grant. The Mitchells, Phil and Grant. I'm dedicated. Do you think I can go all the way? Or will I artfully dodge it? You'll be obliged to know I've mixed with hip-hop royalty. Mixed with hip-hop royalty? Wow. And then Usher plays. <laughs> Excitement of the competition. It takes me back 20 years or more. All I do is win, win, so I think they win, first no became members 20 years ago. Don't give it up. Time to win. Cause all I do is win. Absolutely fantastic. You're amazing. Mo, how incredible was that? Oh, that was so good, man. That was absolutely a, an amazing rendition of a song that I love. But, like, you made it your own. The first clue I've seen in the clue package, you've worked with hip-hop royalty. One of your tracks has a sample from one of the biggest rappers in the world, which is uh, Jay-Z, a song called 50-50. I think it's still Lamar. <laughs> I heard some clues that go with what you've been saying. The big one was obviously Grant and Grant. And we've oh, been talking yes. about Carrie and David Grant from mm -hmm. Fame Academy, and that is Lamar. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Rob Bryden. If we're just talking about a performance by a cricket, backed by an orchestra of insects, conducted by a ladybird, yes. that's the best I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> There was a tone to the voice that made me think of Eddie Grant. Mm. Yeah. Electric.
Patrick yes. Avenue, and there was Grant in the clues. Rita. I also went on the clues of hip hop royalty. See, now this name that I've been saying since I've met you, Cricket, supported Usher. That was playing in the VT. Oh, yeah. Fame Academy was probably 20 years yes. ago. It is 100% Lamar. Jonathan. I have to agree with both Mo and Rita. It is the brilliant Lamar, ladies and gentlemen. That's who was under Lamar. Do you need some more clues? Yes. yes OK, snuggle up, my friends, because someone very special is going to tell you a bedtime story. Oh. He's our very own Doctor Who's behind the mask. It's David Tennant. Ah. Hello, panel. My name's David. Welcome to Bedtime Stories. Let's begin. Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived Cricket. He loved playing cricket. But deep down, he had a dream to sing with his idols, the famous Caterpillar's Child. One sunny day, while practicing his cricket skills, he heard a beautiful melody floating through the air. Curiosity sparked within him, and he followed the sound. To his amazement, he found Caterpillar's Child, rehearsing for a big concert. Cricket's heart raced with excitement. He plucked up the courage to approach them and share his dream of performing with them. They invited him to join them on stage for their concert that very evening. Cricket couldn't believe his luck. He had fulfilled his destiny. The end. Ah, did you find the clues? Yes, the reason why he got to take part in Fame Academy was because of one of those amazing things where you hear something, you go, you talk to somebody, they say, come on the show. I think there was something weird that happened with Lamar before he went on Fame Academy. Interesting. <laughs> what an innings from Cricket. We'll only know who's innings side when the mask comes off. Give it up for Cricket, everyone. <laughs> Love you, Cricket. You're amazing. This is turning into the La Masked Singer. Who do you think's behind the mask? To have got this far in the competition is quite frankly the marvellous. But have the panel cracked this cricket? Ask cricket, you're going first. Big Fern Piranha, please go and get ready for your performances. <laughs> Head off down the tunnels, my friends. <laughs> cricket, let's see who you'll be singing with. Shroom for one more. Please welcome back to the stage, Mushroom!
mushroom, everybody! Oh, that is absolutely incredible. Oh, it's like she never left. But let's check it's her anyway. Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Take it off! Take a picture of her! your wonderful hat. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, Yay! it's great to have you back. That song was incredible. It really was. It was beautiful. Who do you think you've just sung with? I think that voice is pretty unmistakable. Oh, really? He's got so much air that comes through his voice. It's quite unusual the way he sings, so I think it's Lamar. You think it's Lamar? Oh, right. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, and that was absolutely beautiful. Let's hear it again for Cricket and Charlotte Church. We love you, Charlotte. Thank you so much. I can reveal, and in no particular order, the first mass singer going through is... And cricket, that means one of you is in the final two and the other will be unmasked immediately. The second masked singer returning to perform again is... Congratulations, Bigfoot and Piranha. One of you will be our winner. Give it up for Bigfoot and Piranha, everyone. Well done, the tunnel. Yeah. Let's hear it for cricket, everyone. You've been absolutely incredible. Oh. Unfortunately, your time on the Mars Singer has come to an end. It is time to remove your mask. But first, panel. Who do you think it is? Oh, Cricky, you was absolutely sensational, man. I'm going to stick with the guest that I've said all along. I think you're Lamar. That's what I'm going with. Go Lamar. Lamar, OK. Davina? I think it's Lamar, too. OK. Rob Brydon? Well, I think it's Lamar. OK, I love that. Rita? As soon as I heard you saying, I knew that you are Lamar. Jonathan Ross? Your voice is so amazing. It is Lamar, isn't it? It's got to be. Well, there's only one way to find out who's behind the mask. Cricket. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Who are Take you? Take it off. 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 So much fun. Wow. Wow. You have been fantastic Thank you very much. on this show. You sounded well, yeah. fantastic. Thank you. It's so unbelievable. Thank you. There's so much in it, you know, and oh, thank the, you. Oh, textures and lovely. Thank you. I appreciate that. They definitely got confused with the Simon Webb thing for a while. I know oh, there was a was clue me. in there. Blue Energy Drink said established in 2002. Yeah, and that was uh, that was the year I did uh, uh, Fame Academy. So Fame yeah, Academy in yeah. 2002. And of course, the judges on that, they was David Grant oh, and Cary oh, Grant, wasn't it? Yes. 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 Was that the red wig? Yes. That would have been a red wig. We were talking about a hip hop legend. And you uh -huh. thought it was Jay Z? I thought it was Jay Z because on 50 50, yeah, yeah, you, sample, correct, you sample the voice. That yes, is correct, yeah, 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 yeah. See, I'm a fan, bro. I know the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> I also went on the road with uh, Mary J. Blige. Yeah. And you supported Destiny's Child on tour, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, way back. We, do you wow. know, we were all, there were 17, I was, I was 17, wow. 18 as well. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. I thought it was going to be fun. It's been more fun than I could have oh, imagined. Really? Right. Like, That's really, so I'm, good. I'm a fan of the show anyway. But just getting to express yourself on different songs that maybe people wouldn't expect—that's been that's been a lot of fun. Honestly, your voice is iconic. You've been so lovely to be with on stage. Give it up for Lamar, everyone. It's been an absolute joy performing for us one final time. Unmasked at last, it's Lamar. Yeah.